Time now is 544, which means it's time for traffic and weather together with forewarned meteorologist Daniel McFarland. A nice start to the day, but this afternoon temperature is going to be great. Oh yeah, it's finally nice to see consistent 70s, isn't it? Yes, I love it. Oh yeah, so seeing 75 for a high today at the airport. That's going to be where the official temperature is measured, but outside of that, you're looking at a handful of spots still stopping in the lower 70s. Saddlebrook obviously tends to be a cooler spot, 72 for you up there. Vail, Corona de Tucson, I think have a chance to reach 74 degrees, but if the clouds hang out a little bit longer than expected, those are going to be two more spots I think can fall just a little bit short, say a 74 or 75, but still over that 70 degree mark. In fact, most of southern Arizona it's going to be over that mark for the day today. You're going to have some spots like Tombstone getting as high as 72. Bisbee even close to 70 degrees as well, stopping right about 68. Now for the lows tomorrow morning, this is going to be where the difference is because the last few afternoons we have had those high temperatures extending into the 70s, but we've also had quite a few mornings here that have stopped in the mid low 50s like we saw yesterday, like we saw today, but for at least tomorrow morning, since the clouds are going to be getting out of here, that is going to allow a lot of that heat heat to escape and eventually we are going to drop all the way down to the mid 40s for early tomorrow. And again, there's going to be a handful of spots which might be a tad bit cooler. If anyone has a shot to get down into the upper 30s, look at the east side or of course Saddlebrook to be two of those spots out there, but everyone else should be right around the mid 40s. Now, if you're over near Cochise County, Benson and Wilcox are the two spots I'm tracking there that are likely going to be down to the 30s, mainly based off elevation. And they're going to be expecting that, I think, just for one more night before they start to warm up too. Now all morning we've been keeping an eye on the clouds moving through southern Arizona and the rain falling out of them. Now, of course, most of this is not going to be reaching the ground like we've talked about. What you have closer towards ground level is some very dry air. So when rain falls out of clouds as high as they are right now, it tends to evaporate on the way down. But if you look for some darker green areas, those are going to be the spots where you might actually have some light rain or a drizzle. So I'm looking outside of Sonoida for that one area and then closer towards, say, a spot like I should say, outside Wilcox at this point to actually have some light rain or drizzle reach in the ground. But this is going to be it. This is our best chance of rain over the next seven days because what we have going on right now is a front that will eventually pass us by, cool us off slightly, and then it's really going to dry out after that. So if you look at the next seven days here, you're not going to see another rain chance. So that's why we're focusing so much on the rain for early today because this is really that last chance for those of you in Cochise County. Wednesday and Thursday, still going to have plenty of sunshine, temperature stop in the 70s, but then look at this weekend, both Friday and Saturday at 80 degrees for a high temperature. Sunday too, a bit more clouds for those two days versus Friday. So if you want to get out and enjoy the sunshine, I definitely think Friday is going to be the day to do so. And these great temperatures will continue into the start of next week as well. That was weather. Let's go ahead and look at traffic before you get on outside today. And things are still so far so good for most of the city of Tucson right here. Not seeing any wrecks across town. You are seeing a road closure near Tanca Verde, and you also have a couple areas in the foothills that are starting to see some minor slowdowns too. Now let's go ahead and take a look at those gas prices as